Hey, uh, everybody out there, how's it all going? Um, it's getting late in the day right now, so I know I said that I would carve uh, that moon uh, spirit, but I, I just don't have time. Those things take, a, I'd have to fast forward, and those things take a good while to do too, like the moon with the eagle on it. So I'm going to carve this. I've been at, chomping at the bit to carve this. This is a piece of uh, Douglas fir bark. I got it in one of my beachcombing videos. Um, I got it off the beach. So it is two and a half inches thick by seven inches wide by 14 and a half inches long. This is from an old tree, Douglas fir. I think it's still a bit wet, but uh, whatever. Okay, so we'll start off using the Dremel flex shaft. You can see here, you can see exactly here's a, a plugged bit. Come on, sucker, zoom in. See how it's plugged? That's all the wood in there. So I'm not going to burn it out now. I'm going to try it with this um, brass wire brush. This is a metal wire brush, okay? Don't use this metal wire brush to uh, take the, the wood out of there because you're going you're gonna to sand down your tips, your pointy tips, right? The brass is a lot softer than uh, metal and won't harm your, in my opinion, won't harm your uh, bit. So all you do is just run this really slowly. There you go. You got a nice clean bit now. Pretty cleaner anyways. Okay, where's a pen? So like I said in my previous videos, oh, just for, just for um, this video, I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt because I did carve one of these things before, this uh, bark, and it's like little tiny glass shards when you carve it, and it feels like they're stuck in your skin. You can't see them, like little tiny things. So I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt. Um, Safety people, think safety. <clears throat> I'm not going to get too descriptive in this video, but you always start off with your center line. Like I said, no, you, some of you are thinking, oh God, he's carving another goddamn wood spirit. But this is all I have time to do today, really. Um, so you always draw a center line down there, eh? It's going to be hard to see in this center line. Then you, I personally start off with the nose okay because then when you put the nose you can decide if you want to do a bigger forehead or a smaller forehead right or you can start okay let's do this video let's start off with the forehead okay try and make it as round as you can here like flat just like a human kind of bring it down so you can see there I'm going to carve all this back. It's going to be deep. It's not going to have no hair. We want to not try to hit this part with our carving tool and leave it natural looking, right? That's why these pieces are cool because you got all that natural look. All this will be carved down here. And this is pretty soft too. So let's put his nose in. Like I said in my other videos, when you do the nose, so here's one side of the nose, the other side, okay? Make sure the nostrils are the same length, like this is the same length as that, and the same pitch. You can see that's off a little bit, but no big deal. I, I know how to correct it from uh, carving. Put some quick uh, eyes in there. This is all just template stuff, people. Okay, so put his beard in, his mustache in there. Hard to see with this pen. You can use chalk too. This guy's gonna be pretty basic, okay? So everything's drawn in there. So let me turn my fan on. My dust collector table. There's a, I got a video on it. And uh, <clears throat> we'll go to town. And once again, guys, I'm so hard on these tools. Don't go so aggressive like I go. Take your time. Do multiple passes, okay? Now there's going to be a couple issues when I'm doing the beard up here. I have to remind myself for a couple of my followers. Ah, what's your name? Fuck. I think one's Mike and the other's maybe Robert. One's in the UK anyways. 
and the eyes, but I'll try to remember to talk about that when I get to that point. So let's start. See how soft this stuff is? I'm not putting any pressure on this. So you did this side already, down his nose, down his mustache, now do the next side. Okay, so let's carve in his nose. Always carve outside of the lines. So his nose is gonna be right here, so I'm gonna carve outside of this line, not inside, because then his nose will be too small. And don't be afraid to carve the nose bigger when you start, because you can, if it's too big, you can always take it down later. So I'm gonna give this guy a little bit of a bigger nose. So there's my original lines right there, but I brought it down, I brought it down to here. So now what I'm gonna do, this thing recording? Every video, gotta stand up. This thing recording? It's gonna be hard for you guys to see this kind of thing, I think. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna feather all this cut back. I repeat myself, guys, I say it all the time, feather it out. Okay, so we feathered one side out. You can see how the mustache is raised above now. Let's see here, I gotta stand up so I can make sure you can see. See how the mustache is raised? Higher than this part, right? It's raised up. Now we're gonna do it with this side. We're gonna feather it all out. Okay, feather it out. You know, I'm, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of making this uh, video to show you you can carve any type of wood you want. You know, me, carve anything besides punky or rotten wood, and then you're gonna learn what kind of wood you like to carve. So I'm feathering this all out. Okay, it's all feathered out. I know I'm repeating myself. But that's how I had to uh, learn when I was a kid, just keep repeating myself in the head. Do it this way, Jordy, do it this way. Okay. Both sides are done, you still got your mustache here. This is a big part. I think your name is Mike. We were talking and I, we were going over your wood spirit carving, okay? Like we were doing live uh, Facebook chat, kinda. You see? This, we got a screwdriver here or something. You see the nose, this is the nose right here, okay? You see this, that line in there? You gotta cut all this back. You want this, you don't, you wanna cut all this back and feather it out like a slow, slow hill. Slowly, you don't wanna have like a cut mark in there, right? You wanna make the, the nose raised higher than the mustache. You want this tip of the mustache, there's a better view, you want it to be smooth coming off right here. I'll try and do this standing up. Bear with me. Now you see how the nose is starting to raise? See that? Now the nose is raised. Nice, a nice slow, slow progression coming away from the nose up and bringing the mustache back out. You can cut deeper hair too. And you can cut deeper down the nose after you cut your eyes in. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do for you guys, I wouldn't normally need to draw it back on because I've done thousands of these. I'm gonna 
draw my beard, my mustache mark back on. Okay? I'm gonna carve into here. But the lower that you take this carving on either side, I'm gonna carve this deeper down here to make the more no raised, nose, to make the nose more raised. <laughs> Fuck. Pardon my language. Anyways, I'm gonna cut this mustache deeper after I cut hair deeper. Then this mark that you once carved here is gonna seem like it's down here. Try and follow what I mean by this, okay? So I'm gonna carve it each side deeper now, and then I'm gonna carve this mustache lower, lower here to make the nose higher. Okay, now I'm gonna feather this all out again. This stuff just like carving butter. Hot smash and butter. Kentucky style. Fried chicken. See how that's all raised up now? Now I'm gonna cut at the bottom of the nostrils down this way deeper again. See how deep that is now? See how deep my cuts are in there? So now again, I got to feather this out again. Right? Nice slow hill coming out. Start down here at the bottom of the nostril, where it's flat, where it connects. Start there and feather it out. And then we'll have to redraw our mustache our mustache back on again and you guys think of all your top like first little bit of wood think of it that as scrap wood when you're carving into it and you need to get rid of it because there's a good chance it's, it's a little bit rotten on the outside if, it, if you're using driftwood or any kind of wood so think of all this being carved away at least that much so you can get to the good wood underneath the surface wood Look how high that nose is sticking out. Right to my first knuckle. Nice gradual, bring the must, not like cut and leave it. Gradually bring the mustache out. You'll see my whole mustache is right in here. It's hard to see with this wood. But my whole mustache is right here. And I'm gonna draw it back in. Okay? Put a center line down there, just quick start. Leave it a little bit coming away from your nose and start it there, points. Okay. It's going to be carved really deep in here to at least this point. There's a shitty layer of wood I was talking about. Get rid of it. Yeah, this stuff's like cutting butter. Okay, it's time for me to pull out my big Fordham for a minute, just to clean this up quickly, okay? Look up Fordham. All the tools that I'm gonna be using, I'm slowly adding the links where you can buy them onto my About page. But I don't have the Fordham up there. This is the industrial model. This is a quarter inch shaft. It's a lot bigger. Dremel, Fordham. Dremel. Fordham. Maybe 
maybe some of you guys be, should be wearing gloves because look how aggressive this sucker is. I had it well, rip right across my thumb. That's even, I got knuckled with it. Okay, so let's cut all this crap out. Stuff, I mean, extra wood. how pieces are flying off because it's kind of it's just been weathered so long sure looks cool eh? it looks like a steak doesn't that look kind of look like a steak anyways Okay, so now look how high our mustache is raised, then its beard's gonna be, okay? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna carve his eyes in. Uh, this stuff's probably a bit too soft to carve eyeballs. I'm gonna have to make a, a single video about how I do my eyes. Everybody has different ways they do their eyeballs and stuff like that. So this one's just gonna be hollow carved right under the eyebrow not this one not straight up and down I go on a 45 bit more so like this this and then I carve underneath the eyebrow so you don't have too much of a big of an eye socket that's a tip for my uh, buddy Shane in the UK watch how I'm doing my eyes you always want your eyebrows to be higher than your cheek than your cheekbones right a little bit Got so many tools now hanging there it's hard to never mind okay so let's carve the eyes in there's an example of all the junk wood on the surface right get rid of it maybe get get rid of it before you even start carving carve everything here the higher your nose is gonna look the realer it's gonna look get rid of all that crap wood on the outside right okay shade here's my eyes see how I've gone under the eyebrow and I've left this flat Okay, I'll carve this down. This is shallower than the eyebrow. You can still do your age lines underneath there after, right? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the bridge of the nose. People texting. I'm going to carve the bridge of the nose deeper. So the eyebrows, like because your bridge of the nose comes down, right? So it's just not such a flat nose. Not so flat. It's going to come out up this way. Okay, so here, first of all, for you guys, I'm going to draw my eyebrows in. There's my eyebrows, can you see? So I'm going to cut on the back side of the eyebrow first. Now fed it just back. Not too much though, because you want to leave lots of this wood. Get rid of all that old wood on there. I don't know if any of you have tattoos but when you see me doing carving and you see me jumping all over the place because when I'm carving up here I'm looking down here and I see something down here that needs to be corrected so that's why I think that's why the old tattoo uh, artists you see when they do tattoos they'll be like working here 
and all of a sudden, boom, they'll jump over here, jump over here, then back to here to finish this piece because they notice it, it needs to be fixed. Same with carving for me anyway. Cut the eyes in deeper, up, under. Okay. Get rid see here I am jumping around. Get rid of all this old wood. Okay, so now we're gonna cut the forehead in. And we're not gonna Okay, so let's see here. Let's just cut all the way down here, make his face raised out. Screw it. Forehead. Kind of straight across around. Down. Try and make both sides equal, right? Because then you can do the adjustments after. Always give yourself extra, like I said earlier. These are going to be deep, straight cuts all the way down here. And believe me people, not every carving turns out. <laughs> See how deep I'm getting in there? I bet you when I'm making these, these videos, Dremel and the uh, Burr company that I'm using, they're probably cringe their teeth because I'm so hard on stuff. But hey, I get things done, don't I? minutes already. Look how deep I've cut in there, okay? Just to give you the, now I can round all these corners off. Take the forehead and slant it back. And, let's see if I can show you. Put the, slant the forehead back. Don't just cut it around this little edge here. Don't just round this little edge here. Cut the whole thing back on this angle, starting from your eyebrows, okay? Your eyebrows should be the highest point in, in the upper part of the, the head. And don't worry about your eyebrows being too high because like you think, oh my eyebrows look so high they look stupid. You can trim them down after. forget not to carve so deep you go through the bottom of your carving. I've been there, done that.
then I gotta carve all this down to kind of go along with it. Just experiment, guys. That's how I got to the point where I'm at, and I've never given up. I like these, I take my eyebrows all the way back, kind of gives it like an old bony kind of effect thing. Japanese oni, devil. Okay, now we're gonna work on the side. Make it nice and round, right? Bring your bring below your eyebrows down. Take your time, guys. It's the best suggestion I can give you. Best tip. I'm just like you, a fairly new wood carver myself, so. Taking my eyebrows down a bit. You don't want to make them. You don't want to make them too thin. Especially with this soft wood, right? Bring your cheekbones down a bit. See how it's all coming together slowly? Slowly getting old spirit in there. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, all this here, you gotta think his beard hairs come off the side of his face, right? So all here, I'm gonna carve all this out. All this out, I'm gonna carve it all away. So it, so the beard can roll off the side of his, the beard can roll off the side of his face kind of thing. See, the side too? His beard starts down here. That's a little bit too high, but I'm gonna cut all this away. I'm gonna pull out my Fordham flex shaft. Again, for that sucker. Man, this could be a long video. Still filming? Yep. Fordham. Engage. Make it so it See how it's going to be able to roll off the cheek now, nice and smooth? Now this side. If you got a Dremel, an old stick in your backyard, give her a try. Like I said in my other wood videos, when you're learning carver, the best wood is free wood. Flow off smoothly. Flow off smoothly. Actually, I'll take a little bit more of this off. Not much though. Kind of leave it raised up. Okay, since I got the Fordham out now, since the bigger Fordham's out now, so. I got basically, my, I got to shape his nose. So, but now you're gonna, you got his beard, okay? 
See how flat everything is, just flat and round? If you cut some bigger, deeper holes in there, before you use your little tiny zip cut bit for your hairs, you're gonna give it a flowing effect, a flowing effect. So I'm gonna use this, and I'm gonna cut some deep, big holes in there. So when I'm, so for later, when I carve the little hairs in, it will look like it's not just so flat, it will, it's raised up. I hope that makes sense to you, says the wood spirit. Okay, so it's not too deep. Kind of just round the edges a bit. So you have high points and low points. And believe me, it's a great effect. As soon as I started doing that, people were like, wow, buddy, look at your wood spirit. They got so much better. Draw them out a bit. Okay. See those big lumps in there now? Big rolls? It's hard to see in this wood, isn't it? So let's carve his mouth in now. You gotta go really deep. Go deep! Go deep! So, Gertie. Okay, so there's gonna be his bottom lip. You're not gonna carve that out, but you're gonna call, carve all in here. You're gonna go deep in there, right? Eh? So it looks like his, his mouth is hollow. But leave, leave his lip there. And then you're gonna carve deeper here to make his lip look raised up. Again, with the Dremel bit. Dig it really deep in there. Okay, now I'm gonna cut his lip in. I'm gonna go deep on this side. Not that deep, not too deep. But you can see how his lips looks. You can see how his lip looks raised up now. under the lip, under the mustache, so it looks like the lip's not attached to the mustache. Oh, I think I'm trying to explain too much stuff. See how I, here's the lip right here, but I cut deep in there, so it separates the lip from the mustache, right? So it doesn't look like the lip's riding up the mustache. shape this I got my lip in there now I'm gonna shape his nose be really gentle with the nose people how I do my nostrils everybody will have their own way draw a center line draw a nostril there do a nostril here okay try and keep them the same and I'm gonna cut outside so here's your nostrils you want these to be higher than in here so cut on the outside line, cut here, not on the inside line, or you'll have no nostrils. But this is so soft, I'm gonna have to go really easy. Okay, so there's your two nostrils. Cut mark in there. Now I'm gonna cut all this away. Again, feather it out. Shape 
tell you what. These guys are have kind of a flat nose. Take your mustache down, right? The, the, the deeper you take your mustache down, the farther down, the more the nose is going to look raised to effect. See, there's still some shit wood on top there that just flew off. You saw that. The deeper you carve into your wood, the better the wood's going to be. Oh, I can already feel this little fiberglass stuff in my skin. When you, when you watch, it's going to be like, yeah, it's going to kill you. Just look at your face. Put it down. Lean it against something. Relax. Have a smoker. Do whatever you're doing. See how you, see how you want to change things up. Okay, let's carve some age lines in there. I just do simple ones, no, on this soft wood. The harder wood you carve, the better it's going to hold detail. So when you're doing soft stuff like this, I don't try to do too much detail. Still rushing. The more you rush, the more you're gonna you're gonna wreck it. Okay, so there you go. Hold on a second, let me cut some nostrils in. Up and under. Up and under. I'll just give it a little bit of a touch there. Now we're going to cut down a bit on the side of the nose, they're like smile lines or something, if you look at a face. Oh man, it feels like little spikes are in my skin, little glass shards. Okay, you can see how everything's kind of proportionate. Eyes are kind of the same size. You can make one eye higher, one lower. They're wood spirits. They can be whatever you want them to be. Nose is nice and raised off the mustache. The eyebrows should be a little bit lower than the nose. Like the nose should be, the nose should stick out the highest in your piece. Just like the human face, right? Because wizards, I guess they once were human, so they do have like human faces. Just old sons of guns. So what I'm going to do now, I'm not going to film me doing this, but I'm going to cut my beard hairs and mustache hairs in with this roto zip bit. I'm just going to make passes like this. Whatever. All the way down. And then I'm going to cross them. It's not going to show much detail on this piece though. I might take my eyebrows down a bit more too. To make the lows look more raised up. But I'm going to stop this and uh, have a break and fuck. It's like little glass splinters all in my hands. Pardon my language. Okay, you can see here now, I got most half my little whiskers done. Right, I did a couple little touch-ups and stuff like that. But I got half the little whiskers down here, down here, okay? I'm using this roto zip, and this is the Wen flex shaft carving tool that I'm using. I, I made a video on this unboxing this Wen yesterday. Now, when I was carving these little hairs, this thing is tight. You gotta put the little pin in here and tighten this part up with the wrench, and this little burr came flying out. So now I gotta record be doing these boring it'll be boring for you guys to watch let's see if this little tiny uh, burr here flies out again
there's the twister flowing, you know what I mean? I know some guys, I, where's the mic here? I know some guys said uh, file this, like sand the little inside the burr so it sticks better or use copper uh, or steel uh, things. That's not the point. The point is this is a brand new tool. This piece shouldn't come out. But for 40 bucks and for the real rookie carver, why the hell not? I suggest buy it if you can't afford an expensive Dremel. I'm just going around carving all the little whiskers in. Carving the little whiskers in. Not whiskers. I don't know why I call them whiskers. But hairs. I don't know. Maybe just whiskers sounds better than, than hairs. Carving the hairs in. And again, people, don't care what anybody thinks about your art. Tuck it away. Give it away. Don't give up and keep keep going at it. I still have a lot to learn. But I'm not quitting. Bring those around here. You just want to make everything flow nice, like Pretend you're, pretend you're the wind when you're carving these whiskers. So I want all these to go this way, eh? Right? The wind's blowing them that way. Cross over. The more lines you do, the better it's gonna look. And I'm rushing right now for this video, so. I kind of rush for all my videos. I think I gotta clean this burr out a bit. This isn't even copper, this is steel. It's just painted copper. Ah, yes, sons up. That's what you get when you get dollar source stuff. If you can't get to a part of the carving, flip it over so you can get to that part. You know, lots of carvers put their piece on a vise and they carve away on it, you know, pluck away on it. I don't have time for that shit. I gotta, I gotta move this thing around. It's gotta be in my hand. I gotta feel it. Nobody ever said I was perfect. Besides my mom when I first came out. He's perfect! And then I started growing up and she was like, oh no, I created a devil. <laughs> uh, I sure miss my mom. I think of her lots when I'm doing my uh, carving. When she when she found out she had cancer, she started painting, and uh, my mom, and uh, just to help her get through it. You know what I mean? Maybe that's why I'm doing my art to help me get through my uh, struggles in life. And you know, if you have struggles, find something to uh, get you through them. Best 
a good I got for me. Okay, so now let's cut the card the bus stop. So what I do with the mustache to make it look like it's blowing out the wind this way, I bring, I, I start it here and I carve up and over, bring the hairs out. It just kind of gives it a neat effect. And here, over. Crap, wood up top, see that, see that stuff fly off? That's why I said it's always better if you clean up your wood before you start carving it. Make it look like there's hairs everywhere. Up and over. Up and over. See that effect that gives? Up. Okay, so you go deep down in there and you bring it over. Wrap it around. Bring it down and blend it all in. Sometimes when you're carving, you have to readjust lots of carving pieces, like sections that you thought were done already. Well, you carved into them, so now you have to fix it. Try and keep the mustache hairs separate from the, the beard hairs. Like kind of do, so your angle here is for the beard. Make the mustache just a little bit, slightly bit of a different angle so you can separate the two, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, I think all the carving's basically done. I'm going to uh, hit it with this Arborite little wheel. I, I got a video how they make some guy on, uh, I learned from some guy on YouTube to save you money. This is just stuff from the uh, dollar store. And a little two inch, uh, sorry, two inch, one eighth bolt, nut and bolt. So I'm going to run this along the carving in my Dremel, clean it all up, and then I'll be back. Okay there, guys. She be done. Is it my best one? No. But will I, can I sell it? Absolutely, yeah. I get 60 bucks for this sucker. Maybe even more. It's got some co cool colors in it, eh? Big old brrrr. So, I guess um, this bit didn't come flying out when I was using it. You got to make this part super tight, but like, man, what a deal, 40 bucks. I'd say, like I said, again, if you can't afford a Dremel, buy it. There's a link on my uh, page in my about on uh, eBay. I don't know, maybe you can find them cheaper. I'm in Canada, so. Um, yeah, there she be. Hope it helps some of you guys. And uh, his eyebrows are still pretty high up, but who cares? All I do is, all I do with these is I just carve a hole in the back. People can hang it, hang it on the wall. Don't forget to sign your pieces, guys. You know, carve it or write your signature on it. If you don't think anybody wants it, just tuck it away. Keep carving, tuck it away, pull it up, pull it out a year later, and you're going to be like, holy crap, look how much I've gotten better. I'm still like you guys, I'm still learning wood carver too. I'm learning every day. Like I said in one of my other videos, if you think that you're not learning or you don't want to learn, then you're going to have problems. I said I was in my in my uh, when video about this uh, flex shop. I said this video is going to be carving a moon. Here's the moon. I haven't had time today, but I'll try my best if I'm not working to do it tomorrow. This is going to be lots of fast forward stuff. You know what I mean? Like 
fast motion because uh takes out this is cedar right three inch or whatever it is where's tape measure yeah three inch so i carve a wood spirit face in here so it's like the man on the moon with the eagle head uh, up here i just carved one i donated it to a old friend of mine uh his they're having a big huge charity like a thousand people there for it and it's a silent auction and uh, i called it chase's dream so i donated that for the uh, auction you know it's always good to give back people so take it easy and uh Hope you're not getting tired of my wood spirits because I like carving them and I don't, uh, I don't know, I don't feel like carving bears yet. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you made it through the whole video and uh, I hope it helped you out. Um, if you want to follow my uh, Instagram, it's carving underscore fusion. Um, if you want to give this video a thumbs up or whatever it is, a like and uh, subscribe, definitely cool. Um... Watch lots of YouTube videos, guys. Watch different carvers. Learn from different carvers. That's what I've done. I still do. And it's all about progressing and um, keeping yourself happy and being positive. Um, so hopefully maybe you can subscribe and rock on. We'll see you soon.